Here is a PowerPoint presentation about social media and their history and importance. As teenagers tend to spend too much time on the internet, and often it becomes our whole life. Nevertheless, we should know that technology should improve your life and not become your life. We started this presentation with the history of social media. It started in 2003 when the first social media ever was created and it was called Friendster. Then in 2004 Facebook was created and in 2010 Instagram was created and they both started getting more and more popular. After these two, more and more social media started to pop out and in 2016 TikTok was launched and I think we can say that TikTok is now the most famous social media on the platform. Then uh, in 2010, more than 4.5 billion people use social media. The users of social media are for the 52% women, for the 48% men, and most of them are under the age of 35. As a matter of fact, 69% people that use social media are under uh, 35 and the other 31% is over that, that age. Social media can have uh, advantages and disadvantages. They can help, uh, help us keep in touch with our friends and uh, relatives, but they can often become a tool for attacking and be being attacked. All of us we ca uh, can be uh, potential victims. In fact, if we, sh if we share too much information, it will be easy for you and your reputation to be in danger in fact, every single comment, video or photo that you post is going to be on the internet forever and everyone will be able to share your personal data. Uh, this can lead to cyberbullying. Uh, with the term cyberbullying, we, uh, we mean a form of bullying with the use of digital devices such as computers and smartphones and uh, it can take place on social media, messaging platforms or gaming platforms. It can manifest itself in various forms. The effects of cyberbullying can be mental, emotional and physical and in some extreme cases the feeling of being laughed at can even lead to, su uh, to suicide. So, we should know how to be safe online. The first step is to choose a password that is unique and complex for all your emails and it should have at least 15 characters, mixing letters, numbers and special characters. We should accept follow requests only from people whom you really you know well in real life. You never know in fact who's hiding behind the screen. Also, we should be respectful to others and remember that on the other side of the screen, there's another human being. Also, there are some terms that are a must to know if we want to be safe online and these are digital footprint that is a trail of data you create while using the internet. Then there's fake news that is a term that refers to new outlets that pretend to be real but are actually fake. Then there's spamming, that is the use of messaging systems to send multiple, multiple unsolicited messages. Then there's catfish, that is a slang term for someone who seduces a person with a false identity online. Then there's phishing, a type of social engineering attack often, often used to steal user data, including login credentials and uh, credit card numbers. And then there's deepfake, that is a human image creation technique to, uh, used to combine and overlay different vi videos and in images. We finished this PowerPoint with a video that I think is really touching and um, it explains well how social media affect our life and should affect our life. Almost every alcoholic discovered alcohol when they were teenagers. When we're very, very young, the only approval we need is the approval of our parents. And as we go through adolescence, we make this transition where we now need the approval of our peers. Too many kids don't know how to form deep, meaningful relationships. Their words, not mine. They will admit that many of their friendships are superficial. They will admit that their friends, that they don't count on their friends, they don't rely on their friends, they have fun with their friends, but they also know that their friends will cancel on them if something better comes along. 
deep, meaningful relationships are not there because they never practice the skill set. And worse, they don't have the coping mechanisms to deal with stress. So when significant stress starts to show up in their lives, they're not turning to a person. They're turning to social media. They're turning to these things which offer temporary relief. Alcohol is not bad. Too much alcohol is bad. Gambling is fun. Too much gambling is dangerous. There's nothing wrong with social media and cell phones. It's the imbalance.